Hey friends, I'm Amy, a health coach here at Flip Relief, and today we're talking about digestive enzymes. Now, this is a question that I get a ton in my private Facebook group, in my coaching practice, is, you know, somebody prescribed me these digestive enzymes, or I started taking them, and I don't know, like, are they helping? You know, do I need them? What is the deal with these enzymes? So this is what we're going to be digging into today. So first of all, yes, some people do need digestive enzymes, and that might be because um, certain enzymes in the body are not functional functioning properly. So that might be enzymes in the stomach, that might be enzymes in the pancreas, um, you know, for breaking down fat, breaking down protein. If your body is struggling to do those things in a normal way, digestive enzymes might be able to support you um, eating a regular or a healthful diet um, while you're either um, working on the root cause of something or day to day. Um, but that's something that you would need to work out with your personal healthcare team. Another common digestive enzyme that we see is lactase. Now this is for people who are lactose lactose intolerant, which means they don't make enough lactase on their own to support their current diet or the average diet where they're from. Now for lactase, you can use lactose free products, which is where the lactase has been added um, sort of outside of the body. Um, similarly, you can get lactase drops and add that to liquid products like milk or cream in the same way it breaks down the lactose outside of the body. Or you can take lactase enzymes in a tablet form um, and you take them with your food and the idea is they sort of go down there together and the enzyme will start breaking down the lactose in the usual spot in the body and then you are able to digest lactose containing products. Now, there are also um, enzymes that are available right now that help break down GOS, so um, or GOES, or galacto-oligosaccharides, or whatever you want to call them. Um, these are not appropriate for your elimination phase or the rechallenge phase of your low FODMAP diet. And that is because there is not enough information right now. Um, these are under-researched. Um, like I said, we don't really know what is going on with them. So that means we don't know how many you would need to take um, in order to lower the, um, the f Whoa, lost my words. <laughs> we don't know how many of these enzymes you would need to take in order to lower the FODMAP content enough that something would be acceptable for the elimination phase. Um, and if we're not holding that clean container during your elimination phase, we also can't tell um, what is happening during your rechallenge phase. So we would never know if we're accidentally skewing some of your results um, because you're already um, having a reaction to say beans or something like that in your diet. Um, so right now, like there are enzymes that are available for GOS, um, but that's not something that we would encourage you to take during your elimination or rechallenge phase. And again, everything that is on YouTube is for everyone. Um, so if your healthcare team has given you specific instructions, you are free to follow those instead. This is just general guidelines um, on digestive enzymes. But a fun note is that our body doesn't actually have enzymes for breaking down fructans or GOS. Um, and so these travel through everyone's body, um, sort of undigested um, or unbroken down or less broken down than things that have enzymes, you know what I mean. Um, and so we're also not sure 100% what the impact is of adding an enzyme to something that would normally arrive in the colon intact. Um, so while it is absolutely your decision, it is your body if you want to try or trial something like um, a GOS enzyme, we would we, we, we would wait for the personalization phase um, so that you're not mucking up any of your tests, you are getting out of your elimination phase as quickly and efficiently as possible, and then you only need to take the enzyme if you are sensitive to GOS foods. Um, so there's no sense in taking a GOS enzyme if you digest them fine, um, and if you're taking it when you're testing the foods Again, you're never going to know um, if it's that you tolerate them just fine or if this digestive enzyme um, is sort of a, a piece of the puzzle for you reintroducing those foods back into your diet. Now, like I said, um, if you are struggling to add GOS foods back into your diet and you want them, you can totally try taking the enzyme. Um, that is up to you. Um, but one thing that I do want to say just before we go is that if you have been um, prescribed or sold or marketed um, just a general enzyme, so like a digestive health enzyme, and you weren't told what it was for, um, you know, it was sort of like for health, um, those I would either speak to the person who gave that to you and ask them like, why did you choose this specific supplement for my specific body, for my specific symptoms? What are you expecting it to do for me? Um, and what are we going to check in and see if it's doing those things? Um, because 
you don't need enzymes, right? Like anything that is just a general global enzyme, um, those are proprietary marketing, especially if the person who gave it to you sold it to you directly. Um, so I would definitely encourage you to at least get a second opinion about if that is helpful for you or not. Um, because like I said, if your body is making all of the enzymes already, there is no use throwing an extra digestive enzyme in there for no purpose. Um, so our, our idea for today, sort of to recap just what we talked about, um, is that some people do in fact need digestive of enzymes, but they should have a specific purpose, whether that's um, to bring lactose foods back into your diet to help support um, digestion for breaking down fats or proteins, um, or your body needs a little bit extra support. There are enzymes available for things like um, GOS, GOES foods, if you are not able to tolerate those well, but we would definitely want to wait until your personalization phase to see, A, if you're sensitive to those types of foods in the first place, and B, um, how much of that enzyme you would need to add those foods back into your diet. And just once again, if someone has handed you a global, like for health digestive enzyme that does magical everything, um, that is definitely something that I would wanna ask that person about, get a little bit more specific about what they're hoping that will do for you. And if the answer is I prescribe it to everyone, it's for general health, I would maybe ask for a second opinion or stop putting that in my body. Um, so that is it for today. If you want to learn more about IBS, about the mechanics of the body, um, some tips and tips and tricks on how to make uh, managing your low FODMAP diet a little bit easier, hop into my newsletter. We have a blast. You get discounts um, in my FODMAP formula shop. You get access to my private webinar series. You get an invitation into my private Facebook community. Like we have a blast. Like sometimes we also talk about FODMAPs, um, but it is just a big community in there and I would be more than happy to have you come. I'm going to drop the link below um, and I will see you in my next video.